Yo, what is going on everybody? David here, bringing you guys back with another YouTube video. I hope you guys are having a great day. On today's adventure, we're gonna be talking about if an S550 Mustang GT is a perfect daily performance sports car as your first car. So let's go ahead and start her up. I used to not like Mustangs, and now I've owned two. My first daily performance sports car was actually my first car, and that was a 370Z. That car was amazing. I got that in automatic. I wish I got it in manual, but the automatic su suited me well. So let's get into why an S550 Mustang might be the perfect option as your daily performance car. Whether you're looking into American or JDM or Euro cars, American cars tend to be the cheapest which also comes into having the cheapest interior. Also in the price range of getting a Mustang GT, you have Camaro SS's, you have Scat Pack Chargers, uh, Scat Pack Challenger, if you're looking into getting an American performance car. But they tend to come in with the cheapest and uh, I guess crappy interior. It doesn't have the top luxury of Alcantara everywhere and you know diamond lights and everything, but it definitely gets the job done and the main thing is what's under the hood. The 460 horsepower and 0 to 60 in like 4.1 seconds. This beast's got 500 horsepower and a Borley exhaust system. It does 0 to 60 in like 4.3 seconds. That's about right. That's about, That's about right. Yeah. Wow. You can read the brochure. For what? 30? You can get it for like 34, 35 grand. Pretty good deal comparing prices to Charger Scat Packs, which are going for 55 plus right now. All right, so we're going to go for a little drive. Also, just do your own research. A lot of times, you'll find that you won't like a certain body style of a car. You, you won't like how it drives. You don't like how it handles. You guys just have to go test drive these cars out yourselves. Also, you guys just have to find what's more practical for you, what looks better to you, what sounds better to you. It's all very subjective. I could say all day that the S550 Mustang is a great daily for an all day, every day driving car which in my opinion it is. It's the most affordable, you get the best bang for your buck. I mean, you get a shit trans, <laughs> but every car has its ups and downs. You see all these Mustangs that they call crowd killers and I mean the meme is there for a reason of crowd killers because you have these young 16 17 year old kids who just got their license and then they hop in these you know 400 plus horsepower cars thinking that they know how to drive it like they're on Forza Horizon on the Xbox or something that's how they end up on the side of the road crashing the car not knowing what happened or crashing into a crowd of people crowd killers they just don't know how to drive these cars. These performance cars will only do what you tell it to do. So you turn one way, it'll turn one way. But they also are just machines. So you can't expect them to go 200 miles an hour around, you know, a 90 degree turn. If the S550 is in your price range and you have control over, over how you're driving it, you love the look of it, you love the sound of it, I mean, and you're okay with the American cheap interior that you can mod out yourself, I'd say the S550 is a great car then. I'm still in the process of building mine right now. I actually did order two more mods for my car, which I am very happy about. Also, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please drop a like. What in the world's going on there? I think he just got out of their car. This guy just got out of his car in the middle of traffic and is waddling back to his car. He just gave a girl a hug or something. What, what is he doing? He's running back and forth. Can you guys see that? Oh my God, what is going on? That's hilarious. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost at 400 subscribers. 
just found myself a nice bank parking lot right here to record the outside of the video at. Also, I forgot to mention, if you guys don't like attention in any sports cars, even in your cars now, don't get a Mustang. You will have people constantly, at least once a day, just trying to get you to do flybys or revs or racing them or all sorts of stuff. I just had a truck five minutes before recording this video. It's like recording me, um, like tell me to like fly by and stuff like that. So if you guys don't like that, then don't get a sports car because you have people all the time trying to get you to do some crazy shit, which you don't have to do by the way. Man, she looks good. I need to give her a wash sometime this week. Oh yeah, she's getting dirty. Another thing to consider when buying an S550 Mustang is the brakes. So if you guys get the performance package, um, you'll have you'll accumulate a lot, a lot of brake dust, as you can see here. Like you'll have to clean your car at least once a week to prevent all that brake dust from forming. But yeah, as I was saying, with the looks of the Mustang, if you don't like the look of the car, then you know that's the that's the first issue because you'll be looking at this car every single day. So if you guys don't like it, then, you know, don't get it. Whether you want to get a manual or an automatic, the 10 speed is a lot faster if you get the Gen 3. If you're gonna get the six speed auto with the Gen 2 Coyotes, then um, I, w I wouldn't even get that. I would get the manual. It's more fun. I've driven the car for almost 2,000 miles now, and you know a lot of people say the MT82 is, you know, a dog water transmission. Which, I'm not, I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying I haven't had any issues with it yet. So, fingers crossed. Ford, for some reason from the factory, has these like chips around the hood of the car. And I've looked into it and apparently it's like something with having iron in the car or like having some kind of mineral that they make the car with or the hood with. So that way that there's like chips in it and it's just like a, it's just a bad quality, but it's really not noticeable. I, I actually don't really see any on mine, but it is notorious for most Mustangs to have them. I had it on my Shelby GT350. I used to not like Mustangs. I know I told you guys that already. It's crazy to me. I used to not like Mustangs, but now when I look at one, I'm just like. It's extremely fast in the straight line. It revs out really high. Uh, I believe it's like 7,500 RPM. And they're really not bad at handling. I mean, I have Michelin all season tires on, which if you put some Michelin Forests or even Cup 2s on here, it's literally the perfect sports car. And it has Brembo's. All kinds of stopping power right there. Well, maybe down the back, but the back doesn't really matter. If you're even looking for a sports car that you can just cruise in and have fun with and not rip 24 seven, and burn those tires off. I mean, the Mustang is a great car just for that reason. I have just as much fun cruising in this car with the full exhaust than when I'm ripping it. I get 17.5 miles a gallon and that's me ripping it every now and then and cruising, which is honestly really good for having a V in this car. Most of you guys get about 10 to 13 miles a gallon, especially if they're boosted. So 17, 18 miles a gallon on a V8 muscle car. That's pretty damn good. We got PSI readers. We got air fuel ratio, oil temp, cylinder head. We got pretty much everything you need for a sports car. Got trip, just the basic stuff. And then also with the six speed manual, it does come with auto rev match, which honestly I usually leave on just because I have it, but I will turn it off occasionally just to mess around with it. Line lock if you ever just want to burn out your tires. <laughs> Yeah, it's also got launch control somewhere right there. Also with handling performance, it also comes with different steering feels. So comfort is the most relaxed. Normal is it just a little bit more of a tighter steering feel. And then sport, of course, is the tightest steering feel. So that way you can bust those corners, no problem. And then the seats are just basic cloth interior. So nothing, nothing too fancy anywhere around the car. Just a nice basic entry level sports car. Also for practicality purposes, the Mustang does have back seats, which are very unusable. I'm actually gonna go back there and show you guys on the back of these cars. And then you have the infamous Ford chime. All right, oh my God, this thing is a 
Oh God, okay. This is actually my first time back here. I have not been back in my back seat since I've got the car. So, as you can see, there is no room. I'm not even really tall, I'm 5'9", and I'm sitting, I'm trying to sit straight up. My legs are straight like that, and then there's my head. I am cramped up. You guys can see that, yep. That's me sitting in the back of my two-door sports car. <laughs> I'll just lean back like this, so which is fine now, but then my back is just curved like this, which is not comfortable at all. Now, I don't, I don't recommend this if you guys have four people you're driving with, usually all the time, unless they're really short. If they're like like five five and under, if you're like five five and under, that's doable, but not if you're anything above, I guess my height and my neck is starting to break now so I'm gonna get out of here all right guys that's gonna wrap up the end of the video if this video helped you guys in finding your first daily performance car or if this helped you maybe liking the s550 more make sure you drop this video a fat like and comment down below if this helped you guys or not and if you guys want to follow me on Instagram and check out more videos and photos of my car, it's going to be right here. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are almost at 400 subscribers. So thank you guys very much, and I'll see you guys next week. So it's been a few hours since I ended the video, but I'm starving, and I haven't had chicken wings in a while, and I decided to share it with you guys. So you guys are coming along with me to get me some chicken wings. Fun fact, chicken wings my favorite food. Let's get it. I haven't had these wings in such a long time. Oh my god, they look so good. Oh my god, they look so good. They're breaded hot wings from my local wing place. And I haven't had them in so long. Just because of how the pricing has been with like, the food industry and everything recently. I am about to devour these when I get home. Behold! Damn, that looks so good. My mouth is salivating right now. If you did make it to the end of this video, comment down below, chicken wings. That's how I know who are my real ones out there watching me to the end. All right guys, let's actually wrap up the end of the video. Give it a like, subscribe, catch you guys next time.